dreaming, one of the greatest mysteries of the human mind. We all know the dreams are only in our mind, and yet sometimes they feel more real than life itself. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Great. Do you remember what you dreamt yesterday? No. No. Look at me. I will try to make you remember it. Okay. Open your eyes. Do you remember what you dreamt yesterday? I think so. Yes, I think so. It yes. is clear? I think so, yes. It's about a boat. And the water, clear water and a boat. Yes. Right? Is yes. this your dream about? Yes. Thank you very much. And keep dreaming. I will. Thank you. dream. When I woke up, I wrote it down on a piece of paper, put it in an envelope, and added out to the streets to see if I could find its meaning. What, what do you like to go? Uh, I need to go to... Actually, I, I, I don't want to tell you where. I want to play a game with you. Okay? Play a game with me? Something interesting. But before we start, if you don't mind, can you put this envelope on the front? Just put it there. Okay, I need to get somewhere. I want you to just drive and take me there. And the game is, if you get me to my destination, to the place that I want, I don't have to pay. But if you take me to any other place and I'm wrong, I will pay you three times more. It's your decision. Okay. Okay? Please drive. Whatever I want. Wherever you want, and hope I will get there. It's a beautiful day today. You like it here? Yeah. You never took me in this taxi. I never seen you before in my life. Okay, you know, <laughs> I'm still under the influence of the dream. I just wake up from a <laughs> horrible dream. Not horrible, but very confusing dream. It was like nightmare or something? I don't know, very confusing. Spooky, a little bit spooky. Spooky? I don't know, I have a feeling of deja vu or something like this. How long you are in Canada? Uh, 35 years. Wow, and do you like it? That's nice. Right. So, so this is the place. Yes. This is the place you decide to take me. Yep. How do you call this place? We call it uh, CNE, like stands like Canadian National Exhibition. Why you came to this place? I like this area, so I figure out you're gonna like it. I like it. It is a little bit strange, no? What do you mean? It's what I dreamt about. Do you remember I gave you an envelope when we start? Yeah. Do you mind to take it off, please? And open it for me? Hi, my name is uh, Heim Goldberg. You are going to take me on a free ride to the CNE. Thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for this. the free ride. I can't believe that it actually he knew what was coming here in his dreams. Still, I don't believe it. When I see this, I freak out. So what happened here? Amazing. Hello, sir. Good. Hi, how are you? Can I ask you something? Yeah? Do you remember what you dreamt yesterday? No, really. Not really? Look at me. Do you remember now? Okay. It is clear. Yeah. It is about the Toronto football team. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Look at me again. Do you remember what you dreamt yesterday? No. Hello. Hi. Do you remember what you dreamt yesterday? Uh, not really. Do you remember now? Actually, yeah, I do. Are you sure that you remember? I do. Before you didn't remember, do you remember now? Yeah. It's about animals? Yeah. 
a lot of trees, snow, <laughs> zoo, a lot of animals escape, escape, escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ski, something with ski. Yes. There is snow It's a very there. strange dream of, like shop that you can <laughs> But look at me now. I, I want to ask you something. Do you remember what you dreamt yesterday? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It feels good to wake up from a dream that gives you answers. But sometimes the most intense answers are revealed not in your dreams, but in your nightmares. T, a member of the heavy metal band Swengali, is my next victim on a quest to find out more about the power of dreams. Hi, sir. Hey, how are you? I'm tired. You know, stayed up late, slept a few hours and came straight here. What I want you to do is to go to sleep. I especially chose this place because it's a little bit creepy, small. Mm -hmm. So probably you're going to sleep not so good. I will help you to sleep. I will okay. put you in your sleep. So breathe with me. Put this leg on there. Close your eyes. something with your eyes, something with the fingers. Did you dream something? I had a, a, a number of images, yeah. What did you dream? It was unsettling, dark. Tell me more details about the dream. Um, it started off like I was flying or floating over like a familiar trail somewhere that I've you know seen before. And I began to float sort of down like I was going to land. And just before I hit the ground, something pulled. I hit hard and bounced. I tried to get up, and two figures grabbed me by my arm. And I tried to yell, and I was too winded to fight back, and they dragged me through the, across this dirt. And in front of me was a one-room brick building. There was a gated door, just like this kind of cell, and two windows on both sides and I'm being dragged into it, and I'm unable to do much about it. Then I went to my knees and started to dig on the ground. After a certain point, I scratch and hit more concrete, and I broke these two nails right here. And this is the moment I wake you up, That's right? That's when I woke up, and there's a chain on the door, and I'm locked in a cell. There is a reason that you remember so much, and you have all those details. And the reason is because I was here all the time that you were sleeping. Okay. It influenced you. Okay. Now, after you describe me your dream, try to find the combination. The first clue that I will give you is that you saw the number in your nightmare. It was there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's better. 
Let's try to remember together. You start when you was flying. Yes. And you saw... I saw two people picked me up. Yeah. And then something with the nails. Yeah, I saw two windows and I broke two nails. I dropped twos. So two, two, and two. And one freedom. Open. I'm free. Give me this. Yeah. Wow. Kind of creepy. Can I keep the lock? You stuck a lock there that I've never seen before. And ironically enough, I'm thinking not only in terms of numbers, but the right numbers. It was pretty bizarre. Let's two. Wow. Let's go get two coffees. Another dream, another envelope. This time, it's a daydream. And it could be anyone's. What is your name? Donna. Donna, my name is Chaim. Hi, Chaim. Nice to meet you. Donna, I have something for you. I want you to keep this envelope with you from this moment. Don't let it go. Remember okay. this. Okay. While we are traveling in this beautiful place, I want you to dream for me, a daydream. Try to look around, try to smell, try to feel. Try to connect to yourself and dream for me a beautiful dream. I'm supposed to dream with my eyes open. Yes, because oh, we are walking. Okay. You don't want to close your eyes when we're walking. Well, I'm tempted to. I'm dreaming. So let's stop. <laughs> let's stop here next to the tree. Close your eyes and dream for me. I'm dreaming that I'm a bee. You are a bee? I'm a bee. Like bzzz, bzzz. And I'm in a garden. But I'm not. I'm on a street. And I'm hungry. And I'm looking for some nectar. And I just saw some yellow flowers. Big flowers, big orange, yellow lilies. OK. OK. And I'm trying to get into the center of the, what is that called? The stamens. You ask me how to say something in English? Pistol. <laughs> OK, OK. And I can't get into it because Go. someone is coming for out of the house. And I'm beginning to feel a little anxious. But I'm now getting the, the aroma of something that's coming from the big blue bin. I'm not sure what that is. And it's slightly open. And I'm slipping down into the big blue bin. And fortunately, there is a discarded bouquet of white lilies and blue delphinium. What is delphinium? They're tall blue flowers. And I can barely read the note on the, you know, like if you get a note with flowers. What does this say? It says, screw you, we're over. I think that's what it says. What that's is it? why the flowers are in the garbage. I think their relationship is over. Okay. Now that's not funny. Actually, it's one of the most amazing dreams that I heard from someone that is awake. What happened from the moment we met until now, mm -hmm. it was a dream. Mm -hmm. Because it cannot happen for real. I stopped you in the street. I asked yeah. you if I can go with you. I asked you to dream a dream. Yeah. And you dreamed something that it's impossible to me to know. Yes. All this time, you had this envelope in your hand yes. from the beginning. Yes. And we never met, we never talked. No. This is like a real dream. Yeah. Donna, please open it. This is the moment. This is Here. the moment. OK. Open it and read it out loud. Last night, I had a dream of your dream. I've never shared a dream before. In the dream, we're both big bumblebees looking for honey. <laughs> We're buzzing all around together. Suddenly there's a big orange flower, but we're so A hungry. big orange flower. You say a big I know, orange flower. I know. You remember when you say the That's big? That's right. Oh, this is creepy. Very <laughs> creepy. So we sneak into other people's secret gardens. It smells so good. There's blue too everywhere. And a note tells yes. us it's, it's all, all over. I mean, this is really bizarre. He just stopped me on the street. Nobody touched this envelope. And this is exactly what I said. It was a dream. It was a dream. So wake up. Dreams, daydreams, nightmares. They are our most private and personal moments. In the next segment, I will attempt to connect two people with only one dream. Ralph? How are you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
So this is the place? Yes, this is Sleep Disorders Clinic. How long do you work here? Uh, I've been working here for about a year and a half. Are you getting to sleep sometimes or...? We don't sleep at work. We just watch, watch <laughs> we people sleep. We just watch people sleep, yes. Today we are going to watch someone. I never met him, okay? The production company talked with him yesterday. They asked him not to sleep at night. I hope he's very tired and he will sleep very fast. This guy can hear us now talking? No, no, he can't hear us at all. We'd have to press a little button there. It's, uh, it's for the intercom and then he'll be able to hear you after that. And we will monitor him? That is the exact monitor that we're going to be using just to see that he falls asleep or not. Perfect. All right. Before we go to sleep, please go to him yeah. and connect him and come back as soon as okay. possible. Okay. Sure. How are you doing? Hi, thanks. My name is Ralph. We're gonna get started. We're gonna hook up a bunch of wires on you. All right. Alrighty. Yes, that is his brain waves. The fourth and fifth channel. Mm -hmm. That's basically his eyes are rolling around. It's called, we call them rolling eye movements. When you get into a, a dream stage, when you get into REM sleep, the third channel will, would be much thinner. How long it takes to get to REM sleep? 90 minutes at the earliest, uh, 120 minutes at the latest. After the break, the subject will already be in REM sleep. And then the experiment can begin. Get started. I'm gonna hook up a bunch of wires on you. All right. All right. And now, back to our dream connection experiment. Have a good nap. Cheers. I have to admit that it's really interesting to watch someone sleeping. <laughs> one sleep disorder technician, one sleeping subject, and only one dream for both. I want you from this moment, avoid this, don't think about this. I want you to create a dream in your mind. You're awake now, so what you do is just create a dream from your imagination. I never did it through another room. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to read your minds and Pass put them in there. Okay. Okay? If it will work, it will be amazing. If he guesses this, it's... He don't guess. <laughs> He's supposed to, to He's dream, dream it right dream, now. Right? Yeah. Remember, it's your thoughts. It's his. Yeah. moment did you think about sky yes I actually okay did. okay good. i will not reveal it because i want that he will reveal it okay, okay continue i have i have a picture in my mind I'm Goldenberg speaking. I'm the host of the show. Uh, how are you? Did you sleep good? Yes, I did. Did you dream something? Do you remember something? Yeah, I did actually. Do you mind to tell me about your dream? Sure. Take your time, relax. <laughs> oh. um, there was the guy, he was probably about mid 40s um, and then he was walking down a, a city street in on a, a blue outfit, a blue like tracksuit. Uh, <laughs> That's ridiculous. And 
and he's walking down the city streets. There's this huge, huge skyscraper that he's, he's walking towards. Huge what? Skyscraper. Um, okay, continue. Um, and he sees this building and then he starts to climb the stairs all the way up, right out onto the roof. And, uh, oh, that's creepy. Like there's a sign or something there. Oh, no. <laughs> Stopped him. Why on the roof? I don't know. Um, <laughs> if he guesses so last one. He's staring at the clouds, and one of them turned into this this white dog. Oh, my God. That's creepy. And then they decided to go and get something to eat. Oh, my goodness. I just, I just did not hear that. <laughs> I want you to hear this. How you doing, Cameron? I'm good. Yourself? Oh, my goodness. That's ridiculous, Cameron. <laughs> Why? What's Cameron, up? Cameron, you don't believe what you did right now. Okay. I will be happy to meet you soon. Okay. That is freaking creepy. This is exactly what I try to project him. That is, that's crazy, man. I have to talk with him. Yeah, sure. Uh, I want to tell him exactly what happened here. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so no much. Problem. Oh, oh, my gosh. gosh. You, you keep on doing what you're doing. My knees are still shaking. I'm uh, still a little nervous. That is creepy. Have you guys ever seen that before? I, I'm really skeptical. I, I don't want him to embarrass himself. I don't, I don't want to be like not thinking about what he was asking me to do. So I kept on thinking of a man in a blue suit, white flying dog, and a sandwich. And he's like, oh, I started imagining it. So I just started putting on the skyscraper and the stop sign. I don't know what else was going through my head, but I hope he doesn't get my pin number or anything like that. <laughs> How am I supposed to work tonight? <laughs> I'm just too pumped up now.